Assalamu alaikum and uh, welcome again to Shednas TV. I'm so pleased to talk to my lovely viewers today. And today uh, I'm going to deal with the uh, suffixes and prefixes. It's a kind of continuation of my previous lesson concerning this lesson. So, today we are going to study how we form nouns. To form nouns, we need some suffixes. And today we are going to deal with these kinds of suffixes needed to form these nouns. Here we have a group of suffixes that we use to form new nouns or nouns, okay? So, uh, we have a suffix, then we may need, for example, to form a suffix, we need, for example, uh, start from a verb and we add to this verb, we, need a we add a suffix and we form a noun. Or we may need a noun and then we add a suffix and we form a new noun. Or we may need uh, an adjective or have an adjective and add to this adjective uh, a suffix and we form uh, a noun. So we have three possibilities to form uh, nouns. So let's now start with the, these uh, suffixes that we need, especially in the exam, inshallah. So we have meant. So how, in which verb words, we need these suffixes? So for example, we may start from a verb and then the suffix. For example, develop develop is a verb then we add the suffix and we have development so as you may see here we have the verb and uh, the suffix at the end we have a, a noun uh, this is a, a noun so this one the session so we have contribute contribute is a is a verb and to form a noun we need this suffix and we have contribution and then uh, look here ens and ens one with e and the other with a so we can for example form the nouns from these uh, suffixes uh, example with depend depend is a verb and we add the suffix ens we have dependence and then another verb ignore plus ens, we have ignorance. So, here, ens and ignore, ignorance. So, ness. Ness is another suffix needed to form uh, nouns. Uh, for example, rich. Rich, it can be, uh, this one can be an, an adjective. For example, you say this person is rich. But we need to form a noun, and to form a noun, we need we don't need meant or shen or ens, but we need ness. Okay, ness. So rich plus ness becomes richness. That's the noun of uh, richness. Oh, uh, Lina. Okay, and then we have another adjective, easy. Ah, uh, for example, this exam is easy, but we need a noun, we need a noun from this adjective, so we add ness. So we have easy plus ness becomes easiness. But notice this change from y to i. And uh, I know some of you know what, why we change the y into i. I'm going to explain just to refresh your minds for example here easy finishes with y but before this y there is what there is a, a consonant so the rule says in english if a word finishes and this happens also with verbs okay so we may need this in adjectives and verbs also so if the word adjective or verb finishes with y and before this y there is a consonant so we drop this y and we replace it by i هذه قاعدة في الإنجليزية أن هذه القاعدة كنطبقوها سواء 
adjectives ولا verbs القاعدة كتقول بأن الكلمة إذا كانت كتسالى بهذا الحرف Y وقبل من هذا Y كاين واحد ال consonant S ولا T ولا D ولا أوكي إذا القاعدة كتقول أننا أنا غادي نحذفو هذا Y وكنعوضوه ب بل إي so here easy plusness becomes easiness okay and we move now to the following suffix that is uh, used to form nouns for example ism uh, for example race race notice that race is a is a noun so we need another noun here so race plus ism becomes racism okay or racism racism you know what is racism what uh, also okay the racism and criticize is a verb plus ism becomes criticism okay so these are different uh, suffixes needed to form nouns now we move to the following ity or ty sometimes we need ity depending on the word and ty example uh, example active you know it is active uh, someone is active or something is active uh, okay so it's an adjective so suppose we have this in the exam we have active between brackets and they ask us to form a noun from this act so we need this uh, suffix so it becomes activity okay we drop the e and we replace it by i so adjective plus suffix becomes we have a noun and you know unite unite is a verb to unite something say yeah uh, 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 unite plus ty so it becomes unity okay al-wahda okay or unite to heat and now al-wahda now another another suffix Mm, needed to form nouns is dum dum so we need, we need this suffix for some words so, example king king and what malik and we don't go mamlaka malik wa shaqs we don't mamlaka so we need a we need a noun okay so we don't need the suffix but we need this one dum so it becomes kingdom okay King, them. and free, free, and uh, her, it's an adjective, plus them, we have a noun. So, adjective plus suffix, we have a uh, noun. So, freedom, or hurria. And now, her, and now, hurria, okay? Hood, hood uh, is a, an abstract uh, suffix. Uh, used to form some particular nouns concerning, for example, the state or a, a period of time, for example. For example, uh, this is, uh, it can be for state or a period of time. Uh, a period of time, for example, neighbor plus hood. Neighbor plus hood, we have neighborhood. Uh, neighborhood means الجوار أو لا الحي الكرتي neighbor neighborhood neighbor تعني هو الجار ولكن بغينا نقوله ل الحي أو لا الكرتي كان نقوله neighborhood brother plus hood brother you know what is brother أوكي الأخ ولكن بغينا نقوله أخوة so we need this state okay brotherhood and then we come to ship ship pay attention because ship it mean mean uh, uh, as a noun but ship now here is a is a suffix okay and in a ship had up he can is more back what can you know can I can understand look up like okay suffix to form nouns has and then I can do I can go on with asma relation alaka relation 
Hein? Brian Zinom Bolo with the ship relationship. Ya al alaq. Can you connect? So it's a there is a relation or relationship. Okay. And then we come to citizen. Hein? The citizen is a noun. But if we add ship to citizen, we have citizenship. Idan. Muatin. Zaid had lahit. That will be now. Citizenship. Ya al mua. Muatan. And then we come to another kind of suffixes, which is er and or. Example, play, play is a verb. It's a verb plus er becomes player. Idan, ada fil znali had la lahat katulig na wa alaib. Ah, na fil wana wala is player. Act, act is a verb. Act, yeah. Can come back act plus or becomes actor. Actor who a mo mom team. Ah, and at some team or met team or like in a moment team. So these are some some uh, suffixes needed to form nouns in English. Next time we're going to talk about how to use these in in sentences in the context. Of. So at the end, I'd like to say thank you for watching and uh, wish you a nice day.